Okay, I think I think we're good. Okay, yo, listen. It's been a been been a minute. It's been a fucking minute. <laughs> My bad. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna stream Prince of Persia Forgotten Sands tomorrow, and I do mean it this time. It's genuinely gonna be tomorrow. Um, having said that, there was a Nintendo Direct a couple of weeks ago when I was away. I've been back for like a week and a half. Um, but I wanted to get the Hellblade 2 review done, which I did. And I also got an X Defiant review done. So I've done two reviews since then. Um, yo, there, there is like still wakes for Deep, which I did want to play. And there's some stuff in Shigai that I want to play. But I've decided, no. I'm going to do Forgotten Sand, I'm going to do Prince of Persia 2008, the, the update for the Lost Crown, the Divine Trials update, and I'm going to try and play the word Prince of Persia, we'll see how that goes, uh, before I do anything else. So tomorrow, I'm going to stream Forgotten Sands, however I do actually want to see for Nintendo Direct, because apparently, if you uh, have a look here, Metroid Prime 4. I haven't seen any of this yet, I've heard that like the rest of the show is pretty mid, like what, what time does Metroid Prime 4 start? 40 minutes, yeah. I've heard it's a pretty mid-show, but I do want to see Metroid Prime 4. So, I'll, I'll record the old reaction to it. Um, and, and yeah. Uh, cool. Um, we'll, 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 do, we'll do this Nintendo. Uh, cool, okay. Um... Yeah, so like I said, this is a couple of weeks late, so it's not live, obviously, you can see that. Um, but, yeah, I figured I'd do it anyway. Probably going to be shit, but who knows. Uh, I will do Forgotten Sands tomorrow, that's a fucking promise. I will not, probably, hopefully not, not do it. <laughs> God, been a bit of a shit show, but, uh, yeah, okay. Um, let me test something real quick. No, okay. Um, wondering if my, uh, my cursor showed up. Uh, it does not. It doesn't really matter, I was just curious. It's, it's do this, it's probably gonna be shit. Uh, this is very out of my head. Very out of my head. Oh, is this that Mario and Bowser thing? It's like Mario and Luigi. I did know this was coming. Like, I browsed through the, uh... What is it? The fucking... Jesus. The the highlights. And it was like, yeah, Mario, Luigi, and like... There's a 2D Zelda they announced, but like, the only thing I really care about Metro is Metro Prime. But who knows? Maybe there'll be something in to catch the plan. I doubt it, but... Okay. <laughs> Is this like the art style of a new game, or is this just a CG trailer? Okay. It's it's a Mario and Luigi game. These are not like real time combat, are they? That's a very awkward way of saying I think they're turn based. Yeah. Yeah. Very obviously turn based. I do not care. Yeah. No, not, not a fan. Yeah, this is doing nothing for me, to be honest. This is like a big opener too. Okay, we're almost done, thank God.
Mario and Luigi Brothership. November. Okay, I do not care. I'll be playing a foul in Assassin's Creed. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Mario and Luigi Brothers. I can't be fucking right. No, I'm going to look this up. I'm going to look this up. Uh, Mario and Luigi series. Um... Uh, what am I doing it? What am I doing it? What am I doing it? Um, Nintendo Switch era. Oh, they had a studio closure. Um, yeah, they did re-releases of Superstar Saga and Bowser's Inside Story. Um. Remakes, fine. Remake. I will admit it's a remake. Um, I think these are both 3DS, right? Yeah. A 3DS game coming out in 2019 and they're shot that it didn't fucking sell well. Um, some of the original developers are involved in the development of Battleship. Alpha Dream was the developer of the old game and they filed for bankruptcy. Um, yeah, it's one of the worst signing Mario games ever, uh, the Bowser's Inside Story remake. Um, if I recall, what was it, Paper Jam? Yeah, it did not, not sell well. So have these all been 3DS titles and DS titles and Game Boy titles and all that shit? Yeah, this is the first one that's been on a quote-unquote home console. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe people were really excited about this. I don't know. It's just not... Not my thing. <laughs> um, yeah. Fucking brutal. Um... Um, so after Paper Jam, uh, they began work on remakes of older games in the series. Uh, remake of the first game includes an additional mode. Um, okay. Not really. Oh, the Bowser's Inside Story remake was released for the 3DS and not the Switch because of its use of dual screens. Okay, well, it was a stupid decision because they f filed for bankruptcy. Um, okay, not, not really... Not... Again, like I said, it's not something that, like, really interests me, to be honest. Um... But, you know, it's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. Uh, anyway, let's carry on. Hopefully we get some more interesting shit. Please look forward to a seafaring adventure that unfolds across mysterious islands, as well as evolved bros moves with Mario and Luigi. Okay, let's see the- I thought it was fucking Mario Strikers for a moment. Oh, I think there is actually an update to Nintendo Switch Sports that was announced there, which is quite interesting. I've like, hardly played that since it came out. Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Take on over 150 speedrunning challenges from across 13 NES games, from lightning fast beats to action. Sorry, are they gonna charge 60, 70 bucks for for this? What? yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboards. You can also try more difficult legend challenges. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Stuck on a legend challenge? Check out classified information for handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Put your skills to the test in survival mode, where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. 
you've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? Nintendo World Championships NES Edition launches on Nintendo Switch July 18th. Pre-orders for the digital version- Okay, now I'm curious. These, this is just a bunch of NES games, right? How much are they fucking charging for that? I, I, I do want to know, because like that would be crazy. Uh... $40. $40? For some fucking NES games. I said $40 Canadian. Okay. Uh, yeah, you yeah, go to the American store. Um... $30. That's still way too much. It's not anywhere near as bad as I was fearing, but still still, still too much. Let's be real. Let's be real. Still too much. No eShop. A deluxe set containing a physical version of the game and other bonus items is also available for pre-order. The final battle of Fairy Tale is about to begin. What is this? Ikuto, happy! Nice why was there no like, music or sound effects for a moment? Alvarez Empire arc from the hit anime fairy tale in this action RPG. One of these sorts of things I'm sure Connor was using is shit. Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. Engage in real-time battles and unleash powerful attacks that fuse different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. Work together with your teammates to take down powerful enemies. <laughs> Fairy Tale 2 launches on Nintendo Switch this winter. Embark on a multi dimensional journey. From Final Fantasy series creator Hiro Oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know what this is. It's it's that composer Nobuo Uematsu comes the turn -based Yeah, it's like not Final Fantasy, but it's like from their original. Square Enix apparently did not publish this when it was like I think it was mobile or something. Um, they are publishing the console port, so it's like they're, they're working with Sakaguchi again, which is quite interesting. Probably won't get it, but it's quite interesting. And like I have interest in this, I will say I am interested. To restore his memories, Leo must confront an evil entity threatening all mankind. That's fucking Sephiroth! That's fucking Sephiroth! That is fucking Sephiroth! I mean, it's... Evil entity threatening that is Sephiroth! I'm sorry, that's Sephiroth. You can tell me it's not Sephiroth, it's fucking Sephiroth. You have to be real. Anyway, <laughs> carry on. ...all mankind. Skills are the ticket to winning battles. Adjust yeah, it's turn based. To okay. To target multiple enemies at once. You can also send enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension and fight them later. Yeah, it is very much a classic Final Fantasy. Like 1 through 6 Final Fantasy. Are, the more you can wipe out in one shot. Let them go! Now, let us save the world together. Fucking sounds like Sephiroth. <laughs> Even fucking sounds like Sephiroth. Actually, I think you might have sounded a bit more like cloud. Now, let us save the world together. Nah, a bit of both, but definitely more Sephiroth. This is so funny, man. Fantasian Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Another sport is hey, told it, told it. Ah, uh, what is this? Oh, it's basketball from we from the uh, we sports resort. That's cool, actually. That is cool. Dribble, pass, and shoot. Nintendo Switch Sports was fun, but it never really had the. I don't know. I feel like it would have been hard for anything to like, match the magic of. Um, the Wii Sports and especially Wii Sports Resort. Fuck, I love that game. But it was fun. It was a good time. I recall though, soccer. 
were launched featuring Compute, and it was only six sports overall, which is like a little bit yame. Um, I know they added golf. Is this only the second sport they're adding? Um... Yeah. It, uh, I think it is. Golf was added in winter. And this is the second mode added. So there's still only being eight sports two years later. Bit game. I, I believe this game sold well, but they intended it to be like a live service, which like, just not really that sort of game, is it? It's, um... Yeah, this is going to be... The, uh... Just the second one. This is just the second big update. That's kind of wild, not gonna lie. Um... I'm trying to find like a uh, sports. There we go. Give me a guess. Golf, soccer, volleyball, bowling, tennis, badminton, and chambara. Okay, so the only major thing they added was golf. I mean, I know they added the uh, the soccer a while later. Um, might be worth a stream to to check check out golf, check out a uh, basketball. I think I did play the golf thing at some point. I never streamed it though. Um, I think it's cool. I, on the whole, though, I just feel like it was a little bit disappointing. Because um, sport, Wii Sports Resort launched with 12. Um, you know, sports. Um, and it just had way more content than Switch Sports did. 13 years later, like 2009 to 2022. I, I thought it was a bit of a disappointing title, to be honest with you. Uh, much better than fucking... What's it called, was though? The... Mario Strikers. The the Switch Mario Strikers game. Because th those will launch like six weeks apart. Try out three-point challenge solo and score as many baskets as you can within the time limit. Up to four players can also compete in five-streak battle. Besides local play, you can team up with players worldwide in two-on-two -on -two online matches. This free update for Nintendo Switch Sports... Okay, so no release date. <laughs> okay. Just sometime this summer. Okay. What is this? Well, this has my attention. It's like a Metroidvania. Okay. So, let me guess. The second to gas thing is the 2D Zelda. Because I figured we would have seen it by now. Is it actually the second to gas thing? No. Where is it? Stray is coming. Um, oh, there it is. So it's like two thirds of the way through. Okay. I feel like Stray is the sort of game that'll do well on Switch, actually. Anyway, that has my attention. Mio Memories in Orbit. Okay, has my attention for sure. Cartoon Classics. Leap into a new update for Disney Illusion Island. Monops. I do not care. I do not care. And friends can help in the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monop. Uncover hints and evidence scattered throughout the world. Then use the dashboard to crack each case. What big secret lies at the end? Start sleuthing because this free update launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Island Adventures Away. Okay, so we're definitely in the, the big figure section. Okay. Good to know. your character. 
Then befriend Hello Kitty, Karomi, and other familiar faces in this open world adventure. Team up with your new pals to solve mysteries and restore Friendship Island when Hello Kitty Island Adventure launches as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system next year. Wow, what a fucking exclusive. <laughs> Imagine they fucking money had in that, Jesus. Get loony in this wacky sports game. Isn't Game Mill known for making like atrocious games? What they the people that did uh, Kong Skull Iron? Arcade style sports. Unleash the Oh no, it was the the Walking Dead game, right? It might have been both. But watch out for falling anvils. Looney Tunes wacky world of sports yeah. crashes onto the Nintendo I do not Switch care. I wouldn't even care if it was on the good developer. part. Yeah, they own this. Emergency meeting. Amogus! And imposter roles are being added to Among Us. Alert others when eliminated as a noisemaker. Plant tracking devices on others as a tracker. Or turn invisible while taking out players as a phantom. Suss things out when this free update for Among Us sneaks onto Nintendo Switch later today. A monster army is at your command. Pokemon! This is Felicidad, a realm of monsters. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia. Okay, it's literally just Pokemon. Okay, it's it. Yeah. Typically, when they have uh, Pokemon ripoffs, Nintendo will refuse to have anything to do with it. Vicious reign of the underworld. Raise monsters and lead them into the fight against the Magus's army. Plant seeds, then cultivate, and harvest them to make your buddies come to life. They can then be trained for battle. Give commands to your monsters and exploit enemy weaknesses in action-packed combat. Merge all of the battle buddies in your party to call forth a giant fusion summon and wreak havoc on your foes. Join the rebellion to stop the Magus in Farmagia, launching on Nintendo Switch November 1st. No, don't care. Don't fucking care. Oh, Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, I heard this. This is uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, right? Donkey Kong Country yeah. Returns, originally That's released sick. on the okay. system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. I believe, um, Tropical Freeze is already on Switch, right? So... Donkey Kong's precious banana horde. I do like that Nintendo do actually try to update, like, their games. And keep them playable. They're not exactly world best at game uh, preservation because, like, you know, from manic mind the uh, the the way they treat emulation. high flying rocket but. barrels, and even hitching a ride on Rambi. There are plenty of transportation methods available. Pass okay. a Joy-Con controller to a buddy for two-player local co-op. 80 appealing levels are in store, including the additional levels... Did you just make a banana joke? Jesus. Donkey okay, that's cool. Country returns January. HD probably won't play it, but it's cool. On to the Nintendo Switch if I do January. end up playing this game at one point, it'd probably be this version, so cool. Fair enough. One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's jungle escapades returns in HD. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Next, please take a look at this. The time is nigh! Is this Final Fantasy, or is this like a Final Fantasy knockoff? Dragon Quest, maybe? I don't know. What is it? Dragon Quest, yep. Okay, I was right. HD2D. 
journey. I'm sure Connor really cares about this. To face the arch fiend on an epic adventure. Memorable encounters. Perplexing challenges. And formidable monsters await. An iconic RPG remade in HD 2D. Forge your own path. The legacy begins. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. Coming to Nintendo Switch, November 4th. Okay, don't care. I'm sure Connor does, though. Okay, are we going to move on or what? Jesus. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Still don't care. Nintendo Direct, Koramirasoma. Konnichiwa, Hori Yuji des. Dragon Quest 3 no Ezo, Ikaga de Staga. You have to buy you have to take it. Both of Reshko Mimas. So stay, Kyo, surprise the Happosta. Dragon Quest 1 and 2 mo. ATD2Dで読み上げることが決定しました。時系列としては、3が物語の始めとなっており、3、1、2の順番でプレイしてもらうと、あっと驚く展開が待っています。ロト3部作となる3と1と2、どちらも是非楽しんでもらえたら
very much in the fear section. And pulverize enemy strongholds. Choose from over 300 units with different abilities. And build out your decks to win tactical tussles. You can also slug it out with other players in online battles. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded storms onto the Nintendo Switch system later today. Embark on an expedition of the dam in this eagerly awaited sequel. I figured this might be uh, no rest of the wicked, but it's not. Your stagecoach and okay. across a decaying landscape to prevent an apocalypse. Fight off nightmarish fiends in turn-based combat. And upgrade your abilities after each deadly run. Darkest deadly run. So this is a rogue dice. Nintendo Switch, July fifteenth. Think so. Orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. More classic titles are on the way. Okay, what are they adding to Switch Online? Think this is uh, expansion pack stuff. Think Game Boy Advance and uh, Nintendo 64 uh, expansion pack stuff. Experience More Metroid. Samus' first cool, adventure cool. in Metroid Zero Mission. Okay. Plus, coming to the new Nintendo 64, Nintendo Switch Online Mature 17 Plus collection of games. Interesting. Turok, okay. Brave, the dangerous lost land. I wonder if Perfect Dark is coming. Various schemes in Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. Perfect Dark was M-rated, right? Yeah, I think so. Is that perfect, Doc? Yeah, it is. Okay. Infiltrate a corporation to end their alien conspiracy in... Cool, cool. Perfect Dark. Now with online multiplayer. It's already on Xbox, but... I mean, obviously, the IP's owned by Microsoft now, so... Later today. Cool. That's, uh, that's cool. What about... Oh, it's just expansion back stuff. Okay, I guess there's not really much you can add to it than there's little Sinas. Hey hi. Save the day. This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. I will take all of this girl. Join her on a journey to save her friend Ash. In this new installment in the Phantom Brave series. Take on tactical turn-based battles, where you'll combine the I am beyond the board. <laughs> objects in various ways. Combine phantoms with certain objects to maneuver them. Combine with a cannon to attack a large area. A fan to blow enemies around. Or. Combine with Morona herself for show-stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. Phantom Brave, the lost hero. I don't care. Switch I don't time. care. How long is he after this now? 20 minutes. Okay. Just show me Metroid. going to take you for a ride. Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo. Yeah, I saw people were excited about this. I forgot about this. This is a thing. X Men versus Street Fighter. I don't really care, but it, it's cool. Marvel versus Capcom 2: New Age of Heroes. Take down the Kingpin in the beat 'em up side scroller, The Punisher, and more. Yeah, that's cool. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. Or play co-op in the Punisher. Okay. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork or listen to music from each game. I wanna take a ride. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Not gonna play it, but it's cool. Yeah, Mario Party. I knew this was coming. The Mario Party series takes place on an enormous island resort. Get ready don't to care, jump to be honest. I just don't care. Of Mario Party mini games yet in 
Super Mario Party Jamboree. First, let's see some of the new boards where okay. you'll need to collect the most stars. Take the escalators to travel between floors in Rainbow Galleria. Use in-game coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale. But act fast. Ride I like how they had to specify it was in-game. With the new Turbo Dice item, you can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and flow of the tide can change your path. And things really get mixed up when the volcano blows its top. Along with five new game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games make their return. Some mini games are action packed challenges, speed trials, a battle of wits, and more. And some are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your Joy Con controllers. With over 110 mini games, there's a wide variety to enjoy. Also, up to 20 players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon mode. Compete against your rivals and aim for first place. Try your best to come out on top. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway when the Super Mario Party Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. Okay, that's it's a game, it's one of the games. That was the latest installment in the Hang on until we get series. 2D Zelda. Super Mario Party I think it's right Jamboree. next, actually. With new boards, okay. mini games, 20 player online gameplay, and more, get ready for the biggest Mario Party in series history. And now, please take a look at this. Is this the, the 2D Zelda? It's the one where you play as Zelda, right? Yeah. Oh, what? Is he going to get his ass kicked and then the reveal was that you play as Zelda? I guess. Yeah. You cannot fool me, I am familiar with your game. So it's basically Zelda's version of Super Princess Peach. Okay. That's cool. I guess. Hello everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. To explain more, please take a look at this video. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. By waving the tri-rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an echo. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Just like that. You can create wooden boxes, old beds, 
and unusual things like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Learn That's cool. to create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key, after all. In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. How was that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. It feels like every time a publisher says that, they're yawning. Anyway, I don't care. It's cool, but I'm not going to The Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available at launch. We hope you're looking forward to playing as Zelda in this new adventure. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. Thank you, Mr. Aonuma. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. Let's see a few more headlines. Let loose and party on! We didn't get something like that at the Ubisoft E3 show, did we? Because they were they wanted to open up the Star Wars Orchestra. The the annual uh, okay, that's a that's a copyrighted thing, isn't it? Uh, the the annual Ubisoft. Oh, stop it! Uh, the annual Ubisoft. Uh, what? Why is it muted? Okay, I I just. This is going to be a copyright strike, so, like, trying to time it so we don't actually miss anything. But, yeah, they usually uh, open Ubisoft's E3 stuff with stuff like this. But, uh, yeah, they didn't this year. Big sad. Okay. There we go. Um, right. A new Lego adventure is. Ah, <laughs> Sony. It's the world of. Yeah, sorry about that before. PlayStation publishing. That's so funny. Uh, sorry about that. Copyrighted music. You, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Um, you you can't be having uh, Nintendo copyright strike this. It wouldn't even be Nintendo. It'd be the fucking music publishers. Um. I do find it very funny that A, a Sony game showed up at Nintendo after uh, an Xbox game did earlier this year, and also PlayStation Publishing. Nintendo wins by doing nothing. Everybody's going third party. I go for it. Join Machine Hunter Aloy on a quest to save the world from an ancient evil. Journey through lush landscapes. Dive deep into the cauldrons, climb up onto tall necks, and traverse other locations inspired by the original game. But be careful, swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. Use an array of gadgets like blast boots and gravity bombs to hunt them down. From the nimble watchers to mighty sawtooths, you might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. As you progress, 
you can help Aloy rebuild her home. This is such a weird game. Customize her appearance with lots like, of outfits. Why this? You don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up it's very bizarre. From the world of Horizon in two-player local or online co-op. The world of Horizon that you can't actually play either of the, the actual Horizon games on Adventure Switch. Launches on Nintendo Switch. This Sorry, but this is just such a funny image. Yeah, let me, uh, I want to take a screenshot. Lego Horizon Adventures launches on Nintendo Switch. That is this such a event. funny image. The, the Switch Direct stuff with PlayStation Studios at the top, yeah. Like I said, man, like, Xbox having games on Switch, PlayStation having games on Switch, obviously, neither of them are going to put their main games on Switch because they won't fucking run on it. But, and also, I thought they were already doing this because this is a kid's game. And... Kids games overwhelmingly sell better on the Switch. So, I mean, if, if this was just on PS5, I feel like it would sell horribly. A Stray's Journey Begins. Kit! I feel like this is the sort of game that will actually do well on Switch, but my god, it looks a lot worse than the, the PS5 version. Experience a decaying cyber city through the eyes of a cat separated from their family and friends. Explore alongside a drone known as B12 to find your way home. Carefully climb to the highest heights. Create new paths for yourself. And stealth. This game was okay. Like it wasn't great. Like it was fine. I, I had a good enough time. I definitely have no interest in playing this game again on a significantly worse hardware. I remember the platinum for this was super annoying, so I didn't bother finishing it. Yeah, god, the, the visuals look very bad. Very, very bad. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Welcome home, Hobbit. What is this? Lord of the Rings? If you've ever wanted to live like Don't a I. hobbit from I guess the Lord so. of the Rings. Now, a leisurely existence nestled away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Customize your appearance, decorate your home, and settle into life in the Shire. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbors, work together to solve problems, and even share a meal or three. Explore. Garden, fish, forage, and cook. The best way to build a Hobbit community is by hosting a dinner party with your homemade dishes. Plus, you can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special ingredients for even tastier meals. Friendly Hobbits and familiar faces await your arrival when Tales of the Shire launches on the Nintendo Switch system this holiday. Okay. <laughs> okay. Investigate. Interrogate. How many games do we have left now? Uh, Ace Attorney, two more, and then the uh, Attorney Metroid games, including a sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan, are coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. That's cool. I don't care, but that's cool. Miles Edgeworth, take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes. Gather information by interviewing people and inspecting evidence. Then use the power of logic to solve challenging cases. Win with facts and logic! Character visuals from the original series character designer. Or swap to the original sprites for a more classic look. Take a break from your investigation to explore the gallery. Where you'll find character art, music, including orchestral arrangements, and more. Past and present collide as you uncover the truth at any cost. Ace Attorney Investigations Collection launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Why 
What the fuck is this? After a devastating it looks like some real weeb shit. Assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. While Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, he's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy along with 15 other students. Persona the mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. But like an RTS shrouded in secrecy. <laughs> and the unavoidable loss of allies. Can Takumi survive this 100-day trial colored by extreme and despair and return to his normal life? The creators of Danganronpa present the 100 Line Last Defense Academy, launching on Nintendo Switch early next year. Danganronpa, that's like the Persona sort of thing, right? I don't know. Embarked I think that was Shin Megami Tensei. I don't know. Oh, it was near! It was near! Yeah, that makes sense. A full remake of so this is the ass one before... Yeah. Metroid after this. Okay, cool. Rule and expand the empire of Varen across multiple generations while challenging the legendary seven heroes. It has been seven years since we saw Metroid Prime 4, and it's been five years since they completely rebooted it. These returning saga features like glimmers to learn skills and formations to enhance. If I recall, I think it was originally being divided by somebody else, and now it's being made by Retro Studios, who was the innovative features like the, the can also help with strategy the people that did the um would you expect the people that did the uh you know what um people that did the original games yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh no yeah tanabe was working on a bit not met not not retro studios Eurogamer reported that it was being developed by bandai namco um, from staff that worked on Star Wars 1313. Um, okay. And then January 2019, it was restarted under Retro with Tanabe. Um, so, so they had completely restarted the game, basically, under Retro Studios. And this is what we're going to see. Okay, good to know. And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Romancing Saga 2 Revenge of the Seven launches on Nintendo. Don't particularly Switch, care. Just show me Metroid. That's what we're fucking here for, right? Yeah, we're right at the end. Okay, cool. Metroid. This is what we're here for. Of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Okay. Metroid. Yeah, Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. They've never actually confirmed what this is being on. My guess is it will be cross-gen. It's very quiet in my ear. Oh, they're just gonna hop straight into gameplay. Okay. This looks pretty impressive. Very Metroid. Cool. 
This looks good. This actually does look very good. I'm excited. I'll absolutely be playing this. Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. This can't be it. That was like yesterday two minutes. Oh, no, we're not done. Okay. Oh, it's just giving us the date. Okay. 2025. That's cool. I'm all PA that. I'll absolutely be playing that. That was a first cool. look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. Release is planned for 2025. So please wait a little bit longer. Yeah, they never actually say what platform this is going to be on. My guess is it will be on Switch and also Switch 2. Maybe not, but I feel like it will be. Cool. Nintendo. Well, that was uh, something. It was something. Uh, what one of the directs of all time, I will say. Uh, definitely far from their worst. I I'll give them that. Definitely far from their worst. Is that a positive? Depends, you ask. Um, let me go through this, the chapters, and just see. Um, Mio and Memories in Orbit. That was that, uh, that Metroidvania thing, right? Um... Fantasian interested me, but I'm probably not going to play it. I think the three things that, like, I quote-unquote care about are Switch Sports, Mio, and obviously Metroid Prime 4. I hope they remaster 2 and 3 on Switch as well before the, this one comes out. Who knows? Um, nothing else here really strikes out to me. Yego Horizon being here is very funny. Uh, Stray... It was okay. Obviously not going to be able on Switch. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. I don't really care. It's cool, but it's coming. Perfect Dark coming to the Switch online. Cool. Again, don't really care because it's on Xbox. Um, we just mentioned two. Eh. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Those two things are cool, but like, not that fast, I'll say. Um, Amogus, haha. Um... Don't care, don't care, don't care. Kind of care about uh, Fantasia. So yeah, I thought there's only three things that like, struck out to me. It was Switch Sports, Mio, and Metroid Prime. Probably like a 4 out of 10, I'd say. I'd say a 4 out of 10 Direct. Um, Nintendo Directs in recent years have been really bad. I don't think this is the worst, by any means. Um, the fact that Metroid Prime 4 showed up, Switch Sports showed up... Um, Pretty okay show, but not, like, crazy. Um, yeah, so I, I'm going to wrap this up. I will be back tomorrow playing Forgotten Sands. If Xbox has apparently been down today. Um, login was down. Um, I was able to play a multiplayer game because I was already logged in, but you were not able to log in to the servers. Uh, after I turned my console off, I tried to log in um, just to just to test it, and yeah, I could not log in. So, it was a login issue. If the servers are still down by the time tomorrow happens, um, yeah, I'm obviously not going to be fucking PIing uh, it. I, it is set as my home console, but I would like to make sure the achievements pop, pop, pop properly. So, I will hold off if that's the case. But otherwise, yes, absolutely. Um, Prince of Persia Forgotten Sands tomorrow. So that's cool. That's sick. That's epic gaming. Okay, I'm gone. Um, yeah, this this is not really a waste of time. Metro Prime 4 was cool. They showed fuck all. They showed fuck all. But yeah, it's cool. Okay. Um, I'm ahead head out. Peace out. Catch you guys tomorrow.